Here's the conundrum, baseball fans. There's a product coming out this week that actually has Julio, Spencer Strider, Bobby Witt, Torkelson, and a Hunter Green cards to be found within it. The downside, cards don't have logos. Which would you rather rip? Topps Chrome without those five big names? Or some good old fashioned Prism Baseball? Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? RGL in the house and I'm sure glad I got to record this one before I head out to Vegas for a card show and the industry summit uh, taking place over the weekend. I'm excited this one arrived just in the nick of time. This is 2022 Prism Baseball Hobby. Actually first off the line. We are going to get four exclusive first off the line parallels in this box. Product was sold at Dutch Auction last Thursday. I don't know what it got down to. I know I was overhyped on it. I thought this one was going to sell out well above $200 given that select first off the line baseball sold out at like $232 earlier this year. So I expected this one to go, but nope, it stayed there and I think it might have got down to like $168, which is about what you can expect to pay this week when this product drops on Friday. Uh, comparing it to Topps Chrome, quick little comparison. Um, you know what? Everybody knows that I love Panini Baseball. I don't have a problem with the lack of logos. We talk about that way too much on this channel. I mean, this product is going to have everything that Topps Chrome should have had. Let's just be real. Topps Chrome is supposed to be one of the best releases of the year. One of the most exciting times for baseball fans. Came late this year. Instead of coming in early August, it came almost towards the end of the season. And this one's coming late too. We know all products are delayed. Um, but better late than never and in my opinion we finally have a premier product that's you know actually open some packs get some cards not just like a six cards per box kind of thing like with immaculate collection that we saw last week but panini for all the things that we can dog on panini about we cannot dog on them for baseball in the last couple of weeks immaculate collection was awesome prism baseball probably gonna be awesome as well if you're excited for this video go ahead and hit that like button and as always i do appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button if you are new here uh we are gonna get tons of uh parallels per box hobby exclusive tigers tigers and drafts are in hot boxes do feature navy blue and carolina blue parallels see if we get one of those uh 12 cards per pack 12 packs per box three autographs per box case hits are in too uh, case hits include Lava Flow, Color Blast, Gold, or, uh, Snake Skins, I believe, as well, and then those Zebras as well. Prism Baseball is always one of the better rips, one of the cheaper rips. I love it. I love this product to death. I could talk about it all day, but instead, we are going to rip some packs. And uh, like I said, this is going to be one of my very last videos that I... Actually, I'm going to be recording quite a bit of content over the next couple of days before I take off to Vegas. Um, so y'all will have a video every other day. Even though I'll be out of town, and who knows, maybe I will be able to record something on my iPhone and edit something up and go to Hitman's house and upload it for you guys. We'll see. Um, but this is going to be my first look at Prism Baseball. First off the line, see if we can find a case hit today. See if we can get some of those sweet colors. We're going to get a bunch of numbered stuff. Uh, here is the design. We've been familiar with this design for a while now. Same design as basketball and baseball or football. So nothing too crazy. Uh, Giovanni Moran right there. We're going to get a lot of rookies. Luke Williams. Some we know, some we don't. Uh, T. Oscar Hernandez right there. Emmanuel Classe. Fearless is going to be Joey Votto. Uh, Salvador Perez. We have a blue mojo that is going to be Buxton. Going to be numbered to 199. There you go right there. Uh, never mind. That's not Spencer Strider. That's uh, that's great value Spencer Strider. That's Stephen Writings. Uh, okay, for the Yankees. And uh, rookie class of Hans Kraus. But RGL, how do you know that's for the Yankees? It says New York. It could be the Met. Shut up. <laughs> All right, we'll keep it on rolling. Uh, so no Carolina Blue, Navy Blues in there. So we do not have a hot box, unfortunately. Uh, one of the things in the 90s used to be hot boxes where you would get extra parallels and things like that. Panini still likes to do that with baseball. So you get optic hobby boxes with five autographs. Panini, hot box, baseball. There's Seiya Suzuki right there. He does not have very many cards. I think his first tops card was in museum collection. Edward Cabrera, there's Burger. Now we just need some beer to go along with it. Um, of course, I'm talking about Seth Beer. Um, I think that's probably just an insert. Oh, that's a good looking insert. Illumination, Salvador Perez. That looks like a Spectre card, doesn't it? 
Looks like it could be found in 2022 Spectra. I like that one. Uh, Connor Wong, we have a red Jaren Duran. We hit a 101 of Jaren Duran, the true RPA 101 on Saturday night in one of our group breaks. Congrats to Brandy for that card. That card was a monster. And then Freddie Freeman on the championship stage. I do want to apologize in advance. I don't anticipate being able to do much editing on these videos that I'm pre-recording in anticipation of being gone for about 10 days or so, uh, seven days. Uh, but then there will be some time I'm taking off just to, you know, get back into the swing of things. Um, so probably not too much editing. Also, this product literally doesn't come out until Friday, so there will be no values on this particular product. Uh, Mackenzie Gore right there. We have Lou Bob, Brandon Woodruff, Frankie Lindor. I think I see our first auto. That's going to be one of our first off-the-line exclusive red shimmers. That's going to be Lars. What would you do ooh, ooh, for a Newt Bar? Uh, Lars Newt Bar. Uh, we've got Yuli Gurriel going to be on the blue, not numbered. Emergent of Walker Bueller. First auto is going to be Enoli Paredes. Debut signatures. I think uh, is he a rookie in top stuff. He might have been a rookie in top stuff last year. I think so. Uh, the Newt Bar is going to be number two of seven. Man, team color looks like a great card. Would love to see a Julio or a Wander or a top rookie. But hey, I'll take I'll take rookies on the color. Of course, when you're talking about cards that low, even Panini cards without logos, you still want to see the Aaron Judges and the Griffey if he's in the set. You still want to see those guys for sure. I think we might have our second auto here. Uh, Hunt Cutter Crawford, great name for a pitcher. Jake Meyer, rookie. Eli Morgan. Uh, we have an old school that is going to be Mark McGuire for the A's. Looking very young there. That might be his, from his rookie year. Uh, what is this? We have an illumination of Jose Altuve. That is going to be a numbered red. Stargazing, Alex Bregman. That is not going to be numbered. Still a cool looking card. All right, second auto. Maybe auto. Maybe first off the line parallel. GS. I'm not rookie auto GS. Uh, I'm drawing blanks. Gavin Sheets, okay for the uh, for the uh, Chicago Cubs, White Sox. Shout out to my dude Shy City Pools. I was really hoping to be able to meet him for the first time in person, but it sounds like he will not be headed out to Vegas to meet up with me and Hitman Rips. Gavin Sheets, right there. So uh, want two autos down. We still have three first off the line parallels and one auto to go. See if we can find a case hit today. There's Bobby Witt. You know what you won't find? A Bobby Witt Topps Chrome rookie card anytime soon. But there he is on a Prism rookie card. We'll take that. Eloy, Verlander, Zach Short, Omar Narvaez, uh, Illumination of Jake DeGrom, Cooper Criswell with that great centering. Uh, we have a wave, blue wave of Emmanuel Riviera to 60. 11 to 60 on that one. Alcantara from Miami, not numbered on the blue. And Edward Cabrera on the rookie class. You might be asking yourselves, why are you wearing a Giants jersey? Not a not a Mariners jersey with them so close to the playoffs. I, I have my Hanniger jersey, my, my on-field jersey, up on the wall. And I don't want to take it down. So I'm rocking the, rocking the cheap Giants jersey. It's not that cheap. It's actually stitched. So, decided why not. We got a couple baseball videos that I got to record, so... Why not rock some uh, some jerseys? Uh, we have a white shimmer and a third auto. All right. Bryce Harper right there. Reese Near. Uh, Jansen Junk. Open to Topps Chrome Hobby Box. I've only opened a handful. Got two junk autos. Drew Ellis. White shimmer. This is a new one, I think. I think this is a new one. Not a rookie. Josh Hader. That's an outdated one, too. Uh, let's save that auto for just a second. We have Dylan Coleman on the rookie for Kansas City. Rookie class, the big dumper, Cal Raleigh. I like him. Shout out to my dude, Eric, who sold me a Cal Raleigh RPA from Immaculate. My first one. All right, our final auto of the box. Last two autos were not really good. SK. Yeah, not, not, don't have anything with SK. Steven Kwan. Okay, that one's actually decent. Steven Kwan, who does not have very many rookie cards as far as tops goes. I don't know if he has any, actually, other than maybe tops Now cards. But I will take that. That is one of the first Steven Kwan autos. And I know he started hot. I don't know what he did after that. I remember 
he started very hot. I kept hearing his name, but let's be real. I don't watch I don't watch Guardians games. Let's let's just let's just cross them out right now. I don't watch Guardians games. I know like Jose Ramirez. Like that's it. Uh, one of seven on the Josh Hader. Of course, he now with uh, him now with uh, San Diego. So that card's a little outdated. All right, second half of the box. All three autos are dead, but we should should still have two first off the line parallels. Tons of amazing value in this product. Just crazy value. Oh, we have something backwards too. Okay, well, well, maybe we got more than we bargained for. Rodolfo Castro. There's our beer. We got beer and burger now. Joe Ryan, uh, Joneshua Fargus. I don't watch any Cubs games either. Uh, Joan Aiden, Alfonso Riv uh, Rivas. I wonder what this is. I wonder if this is another first off the line exclusive. It is, and it's gonna be a. Oh, we got a fourth auto. Okay, well, first off the line exclusive auto Reavers and Martin. I know nothing about him. Four of seven. That's one of the downsides to Prism Baseball. You're going to get a lot of names you've never heard. Some pitchers, you know, but the product's cheap. You know, this one's going to come out probably this week at about like 150 bucks, which is half the cost of what Topps Chrome came out for. And you get an extra auto and a bunch of extra color. Uh, Luis Robert on the silver and Ronald Acuna on the stargazing. So there will always be people who say, oh, well, the Panini cards don't have the same value as the Topps cards. You have to look at the price point. You have to look at the price comparisons. Product like Immaculate Collection coming out at like $350 a box. Compare that to a product like, I don't know, what's a comparable product for tops? Like Dynasty, which is one card for $500. Mm, that's not a good comparison. Diamond Icons. Let's compare Diamond Icons, a $3,000 product that is one of Topps' most high-end products, to a product like National Treasures Baseball, which is like $600. Of course, it's one sixth the cost, one fifth the cost of uh, diamond icons. Of course, it's not going to be equal value. Cards are still cool. Uh, Panini does some of the best patches in the game. Uh, if you've seen some patches from the Immaculate Collection product, which came out last week, um, so you know, I, I think that that I've gone on my soapbox quite a bit for for Panini baseball. There's Jared Kelenic now back up with the Mariners, hoping hoping to get him through this playoff push. We'll see how far we go. Uh, Frank Thomas, Aaron Judge. Uh, Brian Reynolds is going to be on the blue and Nicholas Castellanos. All right, four packs left today. I think we should still have one more first off the line exclusive. Maybe we'll see a color blast. I do see some purple shimmer in here. So I'm wondering how many, how many colors they made on these first off the line exclusives. There's Tyler Gilbert, Jonathan India, Nick Algeyer, Illumination of Xander Bogertz, Jake Brents. Jake Brents again, going to be a first off the line exclusive. Five of seven. All these first off the line exclusives have just been different colors. All numbered to seven. I think that's our final one. There is a good one though. That is a rookie class silver Wander Franco. We'll take that. Would love to just see a base rookie of my dude Julio, rookie of the year. Bobichette on the red, not going to be numbered, and a stargazing of Miggy. Yeah, I would love to just see even a base Julio, see what that card looks like. Uh, there's Wander on the base, rookie, Dylan Coleman. Couldn't be any worse. There's my dude right there. Got another rainbow to put together. Mitch is in. Adam Wainwright. Miggy. Shane Boz. Jose Abreu on the Illumination. Kyle Lewis. Silver, Mike Bowman. And we've got Clayton Kershaw on the stargazing this time around. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This is a fun rip. This is far more entertaining to me. Then uh, my personal rip of Topps Chrome. You can check that out on the channel if you would like. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I'd love to see just a gold or something to put this box over the top. Ronnie Dawson. Uh, Herman Marquis. Chris Bissett. Tarek Skubel. Uh, Marcus Simeon on the Fearless. Marcus Stroman. Shane Bieber on the red, not numbered. And then an emergent of Tyler O'Neill, former Mariner alert right there. Tyler O'Neill. All right, last pack of the day. Thank you for joining me on this little excursion as we check out an early look at Panini ba uh, Prism Baseball and first off the line. And I think we have one more extra. I think we have one more extra parallel, and that looks like an illuminated. Maybe let's uh, let's save that. Let's save that for last. It looks like an illuminated first off the line. I think we got a bonus. Reed Detmers is going to be on the blue, not numbered. Goldschmidt, Yastrzemski, Ronzi. Uh, Nick Lodolo, Brandon Marsh, Paul Goldschmidt, 
We have a stained glass. Now, these are not super rare in Prism Baseball, unfortunately. Not like football, where they're super hard to hit. These are case hits in... Um, yeah, these are definitely case hits in football, but not as rare in baseball. Great looking card, though. Very off-center on that one. I imagine, just like in previous years, there will be numbered uh, color parallels of this as well. Uh, Corey Seager, we've got Frankie Lindor. Going to be on the lime green to 125. And our final card of the day... That's sweet. I already know where that one's going. That is an Illumination. First off the line, exclusive four of seven. Eat your heart out. Mr. Chad Sanders, that card is going to your PC. I promise I'll actually ship it out to you this time. I know I've got a lot of Josh Allen and Vladimir Guerrero stuff I got to ship out to my boy Chad. Hey, that's a great way to end it. Four of seven, Illumination Vladdy. I'm sure that's probably like, and I'm just spitballing here because uh, no values for any of this stuff. I'm sure we're looking at like a... 40 to 50 dollar card right there uh compared to what i've seen on some of the first off the line vladimir guerrero stuff that i know from select and optic uh from last year uh i would say this is probably like a 40 to 50 dollar card which you know this is first off the line so it did cost you know a little over 200 dollars a box is what i paid uh bought a couple cases um so i mean paid for 25 percent of the box right there we also had the steven kwan auto which i'm sure is worth another i don't know 20 bucks if i'm just guessing maybe more uh, if I'm way off, don't come at me in my comment section saying you want to buy it. Uh, here's some other stuff. Wander. A couple Wanders. Our first off the line exclusives. We got four of them. So one of them was an auto. Jake Brents. Uh, Reaver San Martin. Josh Hader. And Lars Newbar all to seven. Gavin Sheets on the auto. And Anoli Paredes. But yeah, I've said it enough. I don't really need to say it again. Prism Baseball is an obvious buy for me this week. It's super fun. If you're a baseball fan, if you're starving for product and Topps Chrome just kind of left a really sour taste in your mouth, Prism Baseball is the way to go. Hobby boxes are cheap enough that I would avoid retail and i go straight to hobby or I would stick with Quick Pitch, which should be out in about a month or so. Probably around 100 bucks, 80, 100 bucks on those boxes. Um, you can't go wrong. You can get uh, retail, I, I believe, blasters and all the configurations will be available on target.com readily botter botters and people who snap up all the retail won't go after this stuff uh there's just no money to be made on the secondary market so if retail is your thing and i'm sure we'll do the retail boxes at some point uh you can go that route my personal is if you can afford it 150 bucks or so for hobby way to go that's gonna do it for me let me know your thoughts on prison baseball this year and i will catch you next time on down the road